video, we will learn how the Fisher EZR pressure regulator works through this animation. The EZR is a pilot operated regulator, so it consists of a main valve shown here installed in the flow line, plus a pilot installed above. Also depicted is a restrictor and a pilot supply filter for protecting the restrictor and the pilot from debris. Some important components on the main valve are the boot, also known as the diaphragm. It's responsible for both achieving tight shutoff and throttling to supply a flow rate equal to demand. The EZR is in a category of pilot operated regulators, typically referred to as a boot style or unloading style or flexible element regulator, where the measuring element actuating the valve and the restricting element that seals off flow when needed are the same component, the boot. By combining these functions into one component, the regulator becomes very compact, making it more economical and easier to maintain, but at the same time less durable. The next component of note is the cage, shown here as a cutaway. Gas will flow up through the middle and down around the outside through the slots, which provide roughly 6 dBA noise reduction. Lastly, the spring which pushes the boot downward into the cage, providing the shutoff force. When the pressure on top of the diaphragm is reduced, inlet pressure will push the boot upward, allowing flow to pass downstream. Shown now is the main valve with reduced loading pressure shown in green on the top of the boot. Notice how inlet pressure has overcome the spring and loading pressure, pushing the boot upward away from the cage. On the pilot, the most important components are the disc, holding back the higher loading pressure, the spring, which can be adjusted to achieve the desired pressure set point, and the diaphragm, which is watching outlet pressure shown in blue. The last component of note is the restrictor, which is a small adjustable opening that enables the main valve to close by bleeding inlet pressure on top of the boot. Starting while the EZR is in a lockup position, meaning at zero flow conditions, Let's see what happens when the downstream equipment begins consuming gas. Because the regulator is not meeting the increased flow demand, the blue outlet pressure decreases. The pilot detects this decrease in outlet pressure below its set point. The pilot spring is now exerting more force downward than the outlet pressure is exerting upward, so the pilot's diaphragm and disc move downward. This small movement by the pilot dumps loading pressure downstream decreasing pressure on top of the boot low enough that the upward force from the inlet pressure overpowers the mainspring. The main valve opens, matching the increased flow demand while holding outlet pressure slightly below set point. Before we go through that motion again, notice the order of events. First, the outlet pressure changed. Second, the pilot responded to the outlet pressure change by repositioning. Third, the loading pressure responded to the pilot repositioning. And fourth, the main valve responded to the loading pressure change. It is the same order of events on every style of pilot operated regulator, both during opening and closing. The pilot, which is the brains, sees a change in outlet pressure and makes the main valve respond. With that in mind, let's watch the animation again. The outlet pressure is decreasing below set point. The pilot notices and is now sending a pneumatic signal to the main valve that it should open because the downstream demand isn't being satisfied. Next, let's see what happens when the downstream equipment stops consuming gas. First, the downstream pressure increases because the regulator is still open, exceeding the flow demand. The pilot then senses this increase in pressure above its set point. The upward force from the outlet pressure now exceeds the downward force from the spring, moving the diaphragm and valve plug upward and closed. The pilot closing allows inlet pressure bleeding through the restrictor to increase the pressure above the boot until it's the same pressure as inlet. The mainspring then overpowers the upward force from the inlet pressure. The main valve closes, matching the zero downstream demand while holding outlet pressure slightly above set point at the lockup pressure. 
We hope that you benefited from this explanation on the operation of a Fisher EZR pressure reducing valve. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Thank you.